Well, hello everyone, and this is Peter Brown with a look at the weather for the next seven days. And I know it's hard to believe that we are already looking at the middle of June. We're only a couple of days away from the official start of summer, and we're going to be unfortunately starting off our period here with again really nothing that we haven't seen much of this past spring or so. Temperatures well below our average highs, and that's going to also come on Thursday with the chance of some pretty heavy rain here in the Burlington area, maybe on the order of one to two inches with those cool temperatures again only getting into maybe not even out of the lower 60s. That high that we have on there might be a little bit generous coming up. And of course, as you can see, we're going to be well, well way away from our extremely high record highs in the mid and upper 90s. And that doesn't look like that's coming to our area anytime soon. And as we round out the period, getting into just about the start of summer, our average highs are starting to approach 80, and we're going to see the temperatures are going to probably top out about near that as we get towards the end of the period, maybe a little bit cooler. As you notice right here, our days are at the longest they get for the time of year. Now, going ahead, instead of looking at our temps and precip coming up for the next seven days or so, which is something really that isn't going to be changing much, we are now being in June at the start of hurricane season again. And we're going to show you just an overall review of what the hurricane season looked like last year. Now, we didn't see a ton of storms affecting the United States, but of course the two, Florence and Michael, that hit did some incredible damage. Florence in the South Carolina, North Carolina area with feet and feet of rain. And then we had Michael down the panhandle of Florida. That was almost a Category 5 when it made landfall. So we had some pretty impactful storms last year. Hopefully we're not going to see anything like that coming up in the air, and hopefully nothing like that coming up towards us here in the Burlington area. Now as we move ahead, let's take a look at what we're expecting for our temps and also for our weather for the next seven days. And you're going to see it's going to be pretty much about the same that we've been seeing for the past few months or so. We're going to see that spotty chance of rain showers each and every day almost. Now again, starting out on Thursday, we're going to look at that really, really heavy rain coming into the Burlington area. That's going to last probably most of the day, probably as you get into the later morning going into the late evening. Again, one to two inches of rain probably for our area, maybe a few rumbles of thunder and some pretty cool temperatures. Probably again, that 65 is probably pretty generous. I would say let's think about keeping it probably around 60. Now as we get into the Friday, Saturday and Sunday time frame, it looks like we're going to have much better weather than we're going to be having on Thursday, but looks like we're going to have to put that chance of some spotty showers into the forecast again. But temperatures getting back up into this, getting into Saturday and Sunday, we may actually be seeing temperatures flirting with 80 again. So we might see a really nice start to the week on, on Saturday with a chance of showers coming back in here when we get to Sunday. Now starting out our work week on Monday, looks like the skies are going to clear out again, going to be very pleasant. And then again, towards Tuesday and Wednesday, the end of our period, looks like we're going to be introducing that chance of some light rain again and temperatures Again, below average for this time of the year, so really no surprise there. So everyone, get out there, enjoy the weather, and have a great week.